So we begin in the default project and I'm just going to press A and X and delete everything. Head straight over to the compositing workspace. Check use nodes, delete your render layer and add a image node and a viewer node and hook these up like so. And we're just going to open up our footage like that and set the amount of frames to a number that's higher than the amount of frames that are actually in your footage. So when I scroll through this, you can see that it, it refreshes with the footage. The next step we're going to do is add some grain to this since most night vision footage is pretty grainy. So we go over to the texture panel and we make a new texture. We're just going to call this noise and we're going to choose noise as the type. And then back in the compositor, we're just going to add a texture node like that. And when we hook it up to the viewer node, if we scroll through a couple of frames, you can see that the noise is consistently moving. It's not just a static texture. So that's going to be our noise. So if we go color and mix and put the footage on the top input and the texture on the bottom output, set the blending mode to screen and I'm just going to hook this up so we can see. And if we set the factor to about 0.1, we get what looks like a very grainy image. Um, the noise is a little bit sharp, so I'm just going to quickly add a blur layer and blur it by a couple of pixels like that. What I'm going to do next, just to make this layout a bit cleaner, is I'm going to select all of these nodes. Just take that off. I'm going to select all of these nodes and I'm going to press Control or Command G to group them. Hit Tab to go back out and then I'm just going to call this footage and green. Oh, footage and green, like so. Right, the next step is we're going to add that green filter, which is synonymous with night vision. So we're going to add a RGB curves node and a color ramp node. And with this curves node, I'm just going to make the image a bit darker and a little bit more flat. So I'm going to turn down the highlights a bit. Um, if you have any like strong light sources, then maybe you might want to keep the contrast high. But in this footage specifically, I'm just going to keep it low just so it looks a little bit more like it's nighttime. And in the color ramp, we're just going to pick the color of our night vision to replace any white in the image. Um, for this one, I'm going to go for like a kind of mixture between green and blue, more on the green side. I'm not going to make it too, too saturated. About this looks good. So I'm just going to quickly group these two nodes together just to make it look a little bit cleaner. And I'm just going to call this green. What we're going to do next is we're going to add some lines going across the screen. To do that, we're just going to make another texture, call it bars, and we're going to choose the wood type. And then we're going to input that texture into the compositor, much like we did with the noise. Select the bars. And if we look in the viewer node, we can see this is not what we want. So um, if we head into the scaling, and if we mess about with the Y and X until we get what we want, um, the Y will be how roughly how like short the bars will be. And if we put X to zero, it's going to put them completely horizontal. Um, so the higher we make the Y value, the more bars we're going to have. Um, typically, anywhere between like 40 and 60 is usually a sweet spot, I find. I think for this example, I'm just going to choose 50. And we're going to add another mix node like that. Put the green on the top and the bars on the bottom. And with the blending mode, you can choose like multiply or screen. Um, for this one, I'm going to choose multiply and we're going to turn the factor down to about 0.5. And I think that looks pretty good. And since the bars are already a bit blurry, it blends in pretty well with the footage. And the very last detail we're going to add is the vignette on the corners, as if you're looking through like night vision goggles, for example. And to do that, we are going to look for the ellipse mask. It took me a while to figure that part out. The ellipse mask. And we're going to also add a blur node. Um, with this, you can toy around with this and do whatever you want. Um, it depends what you want to be looking through. If you just want like a simple vignette, like 
you typically have on films and you can go for that. Um, I think that's what I'm going to do here. So somewhere around this, and if we hook this up to the blur node and into the viewer, I'm going to set this to fast Gaussian, hit relative, correct it on the Y axis and set it to 20% each way. And just toy around with this until I get something closer to what I want. Like that. Okay, now we're going to blend it on. We're going to add a, another color mix node. Um, as per usual, footage on the top, overlay on the bottom. I'm going to put it in the viewer node and change this to multiply. And it's a bit strong, so I'm just going to turn it down to 0.5. And there you go. You have successfully managed to make a night vision effect using Blender's compositor. So that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you've learned a thing or two from it. If you have, feel free to link me to your creations. I'll happily have a look. And that's it from me. I've been Hayden from HW Tutorials and goodbye viewers.